Okay, Chung. Great to uh, be back in Chamonix with you. And I know this year has been uh, a little bit special because you had m more time in Europe, right? Than yeah, so special this year. My preparation. I mean, well, tell us a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, tell us uh, how long you how long you've been here. And of course, the the GR5 was, I mean, huge. Um, not just preparation, but uh, uh, experience in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell us a little bit more the experience, and then just how the how it's been for your specific preparation for for UTMB. Uh, yeah, this year I put a lot of effort to try to do UTMB better and better. I like since half years ago I resigned the job that I I did for fourteen years. Fireman. I say fireman. <laughs> it's a big decision. Yeah. Uh, because I want to focus more on the training and also my traveling life for uh, so I quit my job and I come this year I is my fourth UTMB I came here uh, two months ago to prepare the the race and also last year I did a lot long distance race or challenge like four trail uh, Project Ennis in Hong Kong. You mean in, in the last year? Yeah. 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 Uh, four trails, Project Ennis Hong Kong. So February, and also February four February, trail. Four and trail and May. Yeah. The, at the end of May, yeah. and Project for, Ennis 500K. And for those that don't know, four trails is like four, 300K. 300K, yeah. huge elevation in Hong yeah. Kong. And the Project Endless you did was 500k, 500k in, in, in five days. In five, five days, stage. yeah. yeah. Uh, every day, hundred, yeah. hundred kilometers. Uh, yeah, it all break through my mileage and the long distance challenge. And also, I when I arrived Europe, uh, I did the GR5. It's a uh, very uh, well known. Many people know that there's a famous trail from Nice to Geneva. 680 kilometers and with a lot of mountains free 36,000 elevation gain so it's a lot of mountain and that's meters not feet <laughs> <laughs> yes For, uh, meter. if there's any u.s viewers out there meters crazy mm. yeah uh yeah i finished in 14 days two weeks and yeah i spent uh, a lot of effort trying to prepare utmp well and now it's a uh, three days to go to UTMB. Yeah. And also I, I would like to mention that I did a lot long long training also and my last long one is even longer than ever. I did fifty five kilometers and one hundred kilometers in two days to and then taper and taper to prepare UTMB. Uh yeah. And that was how far, uh, we're just hearing some of the, it's, it's, yeah, we're just hearing some, you know, it's okay. We're hearing some of the sound from the TDS finishers coming through behind us. So we, uh, no problem. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more. So what was the timing on, um, the, the, between finishing the GR5 mm -hmm. and then the 100K and 50, 50K back uh -huh. to back? Yeah. I finished the GR5, I feel so tired and then uh, because uh, I spent two weeks and the, the, the last day of GR5 and it is, I still have one month to recover and also did the last long run and in those months I, I did some uh, rest and also the last long run I make it like one week after the GR5. Wow. Mm. So I mean, your your recovery was phenomenal. To really, just one week later, mm -hmm. the 100K. Yeah. How did you feel during that 100K? Uh, I I make it try to make it like one hour after GL5 because I feel my body uh, feeling recover after GL5. So I feel it's good timing to do the multiple day for the last long run. Totally 155 in two days. And after that, I feel good. During the training, the last one, I also feel good. 
but uh, and then I have two weeks left and this two two weeks I need to do some like recce of the course and also the recovery session is so important and he's, he says he says last long run but uh Still he still he still did, he still did another 50k uh, recce and I don't know 50 thir- times of 30, 40 and 50. Yeah, and so I mean when he says long run, we mean long, super long. <laughs> super long. <laughs> I mean it's amazing the volume that you've built up, and of course I mean yeah, and the body now I mean of course you, you're it's always a balance, right? The yes. uh, the recovery versus pushing the limits of mm-hmm. of of volume the body these last few days is 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 coming better is uh still tired a little bit yeah it's yeah the the body is always amazing that's something you cannot like predict and something you uh cannot 100 percent know what is the best way to become to be success and even i doing a lot training i feeling my I think maybe a little bit tired now. Mm. Yeah, and then I have three days only, three days left to recovery. Mm. But I also think that as my experience, because I did, it's my fourth UTMB, as my experience, maybe I prepare well, but only the confidence. Maybe I just need to be confident. Mm. Yeah, mm. for the mentally, I need to be strong, maybe. Yeah, and Chung, no matter what happens, you already two time top 10 you've already proven like how amazing your level is you've had such success so whatever happens happens i mean in in my view you know it's like it's nice to experiment a different a little bit different way preparation mm-hmm. of course you're pushing the limit mm. but you try your best right and see what happens uh <laughs> yeah every year for the utmb i try my best but yeah. this year is uh the fourth time or maybe the last one uh, I will yeah try to do it the best again <laughs> and let's talk a little bit about race day strategy uh, what are you feeling now um, for race day in your mind mm. uh, I will after two, 2019 and 21 the two times top 10 of UTMB I try to make the balance between two different training and also the strategy of the race uh, and I think 2019 I ca- I'm not expect that I can be so running so well in the race and but finally the sixth race and 2021 I try to aim higher and running a little bit faster but I think uh, my leg and my body cannot uh, maintain to the to the end of course uh, some like cold weather uh, and not the different situation but in this year, my strategy is try to uh, maybe even slower than 2019. And I, my experience, I think uh, I need to keep my leg fresh. And when I pass the first checkpoint, I, I hope I can finish after like 100 position, doesn't matter. And try to uh, catching some people. And then for the Komaya, I think my target time is 10 hour 15. A little bit slower than 2019 and also 21. Uh, I hope the position can improve to like 30 place. And then the second half is so key. If I keep my fresh leg and I can uh, catch somebody during the course, especially the last mountain. Uh, of course, my target is still top 10 in this year. But I know this year is so hard because the race is getting more and more competitive. And also uh, some Chinese strong guy and my teammate also they are improving. But no matter who, any strong guy here. And I hope I can just do my best during the race and yeah, give me uh, all. Yeah, give it all. Great, man. I'm so excited to see and watch what unfolds again and lastly do you want uh, anything you want to say to so many people following you in asia maybe you can say something in english first and then maybe for all your fans in hong kong uh you can say a little bit in cantonese after you can they following uh thank you all for supporting uh watching the ways in the past two years and also this year 
I I will do my best. And this is my fourth UTMB and also maybe the last one. So I will do my best. Thank you so much for the support of the past few years. I've seen the games in the past few years. And I think everyone will see the games in the past few years. So, in the process, if I have any difficulties, I won't be able to do it. I'll always try to do it and keep it to the end. I hope to make my own decisions to make the best of it. 做到個更好嘅時間，咁就對得住自己，亦都對得住所有支持我嘅人。咁咩名詞咧，我都控制唔到。但係我一直都喺度挑戰緊自己。我要贏嘅唔係自己，係誒、呃、我要贏嘅唔係對手，而係昨日嘅自己，上年嘅自己。我希望比以前做得更好。呢、这個就係我嘅目標啦。Yeah. Yeah. Perfect.